Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rift Waters Fish Room. So we have been hard at work preparing for some big changes. If you've seen a recent video of ours, you know that we are going to be building a brand new massive aquarium here in the basement. And to prepare for that, we've had to uh, build some new infrastructure and we've also been playing musical tanks with some of the fish moving some fish around to get them in the right situation for us to then commit some time to just building this new aquarium. And part of that involved moving some of our Madagascan cichlids around. And we actually upgraded some of them to the 225 gallon all glass tank behind me. So I figured this was a great opportunity to just give you a quick update on the fish themselves. Uh, friends of the channel will know that I am a big fan of Malagasy fish, or fish from Madagascar. They are highly endangered, and it's sort of my passion project to keep these fish and breed them and propagate them throughout the hobby uh, so that we can sustain the species, these endangered species, even if only in captivity. We can do our part as hobbyists to help give them a chance. But let's go ahead and get to the fun stuff. I'll take you around the room because we have a few tanks with Madagascan cichlids in them. So let's get to it and uh, hope you enjoy the video. All right, let's first do a quick recap of the plans for the fish room here. So we have these four 75 gallons and these two custom 60 gallons. These are going to get moved. They're going to come over here to this empty wall. And that's going to free up some space, enough space to enable us to build just a massive aquarium. Uh, it's gonna be either 1,000 gallons or 900 gallons. Uh, there's still some decisions that have to be made there. But once that tank is complete, then we're gonna be moving some fish around. Uh, these monster fish uh, may go in that new big tank, or they might stay here, or we might put the African cichlids in that new big tank. But either way, we're gonna have one of these two tanks freed up. And this is where the, all the Madagascan cichlids are going to have their forever home. And it's gonna be a big upgrade for them. They're gonna, it's gonna be great. But it's gonna take a while before we get there because in addition to all the infrastructure that we have to do, we got you know drain tubes that have to be moved. We have airlines from the central air pump that have to be relocated. In addition to all that, I mean, it's just going to take a while to build the tank. And the glass itself, a three-quarter inch low iron glass, that's a hard material to source. It's got another four to five weeks before it even gets here. So in the meantime, all these cichlids needed a bigger home. These are uh, several species of cichlids from Madagascar. We have the Paratropus minerambo, the pinstripe damba, we have the Tychochromus grandidieri, the east coast gold, we have the Paratropus kienari, we have the Paratilapia right here, sometimes known as the starry night cichlid. Now, and, and all these fish are, I don't know if I'd call them juveniles, but they're not full grown because th these fish get big. These guys are gonna get at least eight, maybe 10 inches. These paratilapia, you know, the males get to up, up to a foot. I've had an adult pair in the past and they, they are really big. So they're all gonna need some space. They're gonna grow up in the meantime while I'm building this tank. Uh, they're not gonna get full grown, but they're gonna get bigger. And we used to have them all in this, we had them in 125 gallon down there. We had them in another 125 gallon over here. So we wanted to upgrade them in the meantime. Now what's over here are still Malagasy cichlids, but these are the Paratropolis Nurisadi. They're pretty skittish right now because I just recently moved them. But there is six fish in here. Uh, I have seven, but the seventh is in a separate tank right now, in a quarantine tank. These fish, I actually went through the ringer with these recently. I don't know what was going on. I lost a bunch. It was devastating, but I think I've turned the corner with them. The thing about this fish is they are 
super aggressive with each other. So even though there's only six, eventually seven, in this tank, I, I, I'm still worried about it. The name of the game here is Structure. This is not a pretty tank, but I just threw every piece of decor I had available in here. And I just hope it's enough to allow for each fish to have its own kind of space, or at least enough space to hide from, you know, another fish if they're being jerks. I just want these fish to get big enough so that I can breed them and, and uh, help sustain the population. But that's what's going on over here with these Paratropus neurosati. This 125 used to have some of the Malagasy in it, um, but it now has the Malawian cichlids, the Africans, that were previously in the 225. Uh, we sold off a bunch of them. We kept the ones that we want for ourselves, like these albino blue dolphins. Ah, those guys are so, so stunning. So we kept the ones that we want. We sold off a bunch, uh, enough so that we could fit them in this 125 for the time being. So the star of the show is these fish here in the 225 now. And this should last them long enough for me to get the new tank built. I really like how this came out. I know it's artificial plants. Some of you guys might come down on me a little bit for that. But with these fish, you just can't keep real plants. But I still think this tank came out real nice. I like how the rock work looks with these branches, these big pieces of manzanita driftwood. Yeah, I like it. And then beneath it, we still have the 125 of Paratropolis damii and Tychochromus mainty. Forgive the scratched glass. I am going to get this tank replaced as soon as I can. But these fish are, I mean, all Malagasy cichlids are rare. But these are like super rare, even relative to Madagascan cichlids. Uh, and it might just be because they don't look the best. I mean, they're not, you know, as colorful as your Africans, but I still find them fascinating. And I've bred the Tychochromus mainty, so we got a good number of them growing up. My next wish list item is for these Damii to breed, uh, but they're still quite young. But yeah. So that's the general update. We have three tanks with Madagascan cichlids in them. We got the 125 here, we got this 225 up here, and then the 125 over on the other side of the fish room. Yeah, I don't know, what, what do you guys think? Do you think these tanks look good? Do you think these tanks are big enough for these fish until I get the other one built? Uh, I, I hope so. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Uh, if you have any questions about these fish, let me know. I would love to talk with you guys about them. Uh, these fish are a passion project of mine. But that's about all we have for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy this update on the Madagascan cichlids and uh, the general fish room plans as a whole. Uh, stay tuned for some you know, DIY projects and other things fishy. Take it easy, everyone.